the Cisco VPN client installed on our Windows computer, we want to go ahead and launch it. And here we can go to the start menu. And since I recently installed it, it appears in the recently added. But if you don't see it there, you can always do a search for Cisco. And there goes the application. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And then a small window appears. Um, it may appear in the lower right hand corner, but it doesn't always necessarily appear there. Now in that empty field, we want to type remote.goucher.edu, then click connect. Once you do this the first time, you shouldn't need to enter that address in. It should automatically appear there. Now for the second window, for the group, there's only one option, Goucher Connect, Goucher Network, and then you type in your username and then your Goucher password. And then click OK. Now, if there is an update, it will look for the update and then install. So right now it is, it checked for the update and it did find an update and now it is downloading. Once it's downloading, it will then upgrade. And then once it's completely upgraded, it will then connect to the network. Okay, once the connection is established, the message disappears and you should be able to go to the taskbar and click on that up arrow. And you see now that there is a lock on the Cisco AnyConnect icon and lets you know that it is connected. So now that you're connected, you can then go ahead and do what you need to do. If you need to access my uh, Horizon My Apps or um, access a software like Power Canvas that requires you to be on the network.